Hey everybody, it's Delta Shiny Zeta here bringing you a brand new project, Kitaria Fables, a game that officially releases in early September. So we're still a little ways from that, but we're getting closer by the day, of course. But I am able to actually provide the game for all of you here on YouTube a little bit sooner than the official release. So this game basically is a combination of RPG-like elements, but also farming elements. A lot of people have been saying this game is a form of like the Rune Factory series, if you are familiar with that series of course, where there's both, you know, actual combat RPG mechanics, but also farming, building up your farm, and so on. And that's exactly what this game is basically about, so if you're a fan of Harvest Moon, Story of Seasons, you know, all that great stuff, but also like some fighting, then this is definitely going to be a game that you should check out, because you're probably going to love it. You are probably going to love it. So, let's go ahead and go to options first before we actually begin and take a look at some of these settings. So here we have language, English, that's fine. UI scale, uh, we can change that, but I'm just going to keep that into large. Display damage numbers, yes, we'll do that. Screen shake, yeah, I mean, I don't like too much screen shake. I'll keep it at 50%, that's fine. Uh, critical hit, screen, effect, that's fine. And then, okay, everything here is pretty good, actually. Uh, video, graphics, enhanced color, that's something that, yeah, I'll actually go ahead and leave that on as well. So that's... All perfectly fine by me. Footstep sounds, yeah, and then dialogue typing sounds. That's good too. Alright, let's go ahead and go back here. There is actually local co-op, by the way. If you do want to play with somebody else, you can actually do that. And then single player. So there's my little, you know, practice run, I guess. I'm just trying to get familiar with the controls and stuff. That way I don't really, you know, delay all of you some time here. Uh, in this video because now I kind of know what to do for the first 30 minutes or so but everything beyond that is pretty much going to be blind so here we go let's do this so I will say that the loading screens for this game are actually pretty good they do not take a long time which is great I love games like that legends speak of a time that Kanoe Dera faced a calamity Once docile monsters were driven into a violent range by a mysterious power. Brave heroes assembled to protect the people. After an arduous battle, the monsters were defeated and the mysterious power subsided. People returned to their normal lives, and peace was restored. Or so we thought. There have been whispers of the Calamity returning once more, with no heroes remaining to fight against it. What is the cause of this mysterious power? Will Kanodera ever be truly at peace? And that right there is the general intro of the game, and now we're going to get into the actual game itself. So we find ourselves here beginning in a location known as West Paw Field. This is Macron, the first character introdu introduced to us. Uh, so he's saying, We've been searching for hours and we still can't find the village. I'm so tired. Are you sure that Commander Blue gave us the right directions? I'm starting to doubt it. What did we do wrong that he would send us so far from the capital, huh? Gosh. Okay. So here we get to basically move around. Um, there's a lot of things that already popped up on, you know, and if you actually manage to press many, you'll see like, what the hell? It's pretty overwhelming with all this stuff, but we're just going to take it one step at a time here. We're just going to walk around right now and progress a little bit. Here we go. According to the map, the village should be close, right? By the way, wandering around unfamiliar places is quite dangerous, don't you think? We should be prepared for anything, you know, in case some monsters decide to ambush us. Of course, I'm hoping that doesn't happen. You should equip your weapon before you move on. Yeah, sure, that's a good idea. 
Okay, so we're going to um, we're going to put this right here and then just equip. You basically just get to you know um, go like that and you get to put it over here and there we go and you get to like put it back as well if you want to. You can also just press Y for a little bit of a shortcut to equip if you want to and that's what we're going to do. Okay, so we did it. All set. Good. Let's get moving. Awesome. Let's go. By the way, the music here is very nice, I would say. I like the music of this game a lot. Huh? What's going on? We are now in upriver field. Oh no. Some gooeys are surrounding somebody. They aren't usually so aggressive toward people. Gosh, that poor kid. What do we do? Help her. You're right. We can never abandon someone in need. Are you ready? Here we go. Hey, you over there. Oh no, they've seen us. Didn't your parents tell you, or sorry, didn't your parents ever tell you to be kind to others, especially elders and kids? If you want someone to spar with, find someone who can fight back, like us right here. Uh, what? Shh, we'll draw their attention away from the kid. Here they come, get ready. Okay, so you can basically attack with Y. Oh, you should actually dodge, by the way. They do have a regular attack, but their attack rate is pretty low. You just basically spam attack and then you spam dodge, and that's basically how the game works in the beginning here, just doing normal attacks. What is that guy doing over there? You also have a skill, but I can't really... I mean, I'm behind a tree, so you wouldn't even be able to see it. You can press L for your first skill that you have available, but I'll show that later. Phew, no sweat. Hey kid, are you okay? That was awesome. I've never seen anyone fight like that. That's because we've been training for years. Pretty cool though, right? Anyway, we probably should escort you home. It's getting late. Right in the end? I think it's Nyan. Thank you, kind travelers. I live not far from here. Come on, I'll show you the way. Sure. And here we are in the first village. We are here in Paw Village. A very cute like village, of course. I mean, just look at this. Just look how cute it is. I love this. Grampy. Oh, my precious kid. Thank goodness. I was worried you might get into trouble. She was already in trouble, I might add. I told you not to play too far from the village, Aaron. It is still dangerous out there. I'm sorry, Grampy. There was a pretty dragonfly near the river that I wanted to catch. Then I ended up bumping into some angry monsters. I was so afraid, Grampy. I'm glad these two were there to help me. Thank you, brave travelers. You should be more mindful of your surroundings next time. Thank you for helping my granddaughter. I hope she doesn't cause you any more trouble. Where are my manners? Welcome to Paw Village. I am Oliver, the village chief. May I ask who you are? Oh, Paw Village? Great! We've been looking for this place for hours. I'm Macaron, and this is Nyanzavon Whiskers. Our commander sent us here after receiving word that nearby monsters were causing a disturbance. Ah, soldiers from the capital city. Thank goodness we were finally here. That's right, we've been having some problems with monsters outside the village. They seem more aggressive lately, and it's causing us nothing but trouble when gathering resources from nearby areas. Nobody here can fight, so we needed to seek help from the capital city. Don't worry, Chief. From now on, we'll take care of those problems so you can live in peace. Thank you very much. I feel much safer knowing you are here now. It's getting late. Please feel free to stay tonight at our house if you'd like. Oh, that's okay, Chief. Actually, we already have a place to stay. Do you know the way to Uncle Payne's old place? Are you one of Payne's relatives? Oh yes, Nyanza is his grandchild. It's a pity we couldn't visit him when he was still around. I hope he wouldn't mind us staying at his old house for a while. Do not worry, brave soldiers. Payne Thunderbun was one of the kindest men I ever knew. I know he would be glad to let you stay. You are a relative after all. Please follow me. I will show you the way to his old house.
It might look shabby from the outside, but it's quite spacious and comfortable within. This is Thunderbun Farm, by the way. I hope you enjoy your stay here. As long as there are comfy beds, it'll be perfect. Thanks for bringing us here, Chief. You must be tired from your journey. I won't keep you any longer. Please rest. We will see you tomorrow. Good night. Night. Let's go home, Aaron. Good night, Macaron. Good night, Lanza. We're finally here. Let's go inside and get some rest. My feet hurt. Gosh. Yeah, so we are here. This is going to be our farm. We can't actually do a lot of things right now. Like, if we just try to examine things, it says you need to equip a watering can, or you need this or that. Get things locked. We can't even chop up this stuff. You know, we can't really do anything. So, it's a little bit unfortunate. We're just going to go to bed. Because that is how we're going to progress the game. Tomorrow we'll get, a, you know, our first, like, quest of the game. First, like, real quest, I guess you can say. We're going to sleep. Yes. <laughs> That roll is so funny, by the way. <laughs> the way he just rolls on the bed. It is so freaking funny. Progress has been saved. Awesome. Alright, so it being a new day, we can just get out and go outside. But before that, let me actually um, show you this thing here. You can actually change your appearance. This is your basic, you know, appearance, of course. Uh, but you can change it to other things, for example, like all these. If you want to. You can get more options later, but um, a lot of these things, like all these different areas, these three, I actually have none of, as you can see. So I only have this that I can change, but you unlock more and more as you go. This thing right here lets you save manually, um, or you can just go to bed and that also saves as well. But like, you know, you can do that, and there we go, you know? Cool. Anyway, that's pretty much all that we can do in our house, so let's go ahead and leave. We're not going to be able to really do much here in Thunderbun Farm right now so all we're going to do oh by the way this thing here this is your like it's a selling box basically it's like a shipping bin in harvest moon of course but we'll talk about this later where you can ship this stuff of course and like for example if you select something like that and then you oh hold on you can you can either just um move it or you can press a and then move these manually if you want but it tells you for example it's 15 i have three which means that each of these is actually worth five money but i'm going to take them back uh, these things are right here for a little bit of training, practice targets if you want to. Um, you can actually lock on by pressing X, I didn't uh, mention that before, but you can totally do that. Here's the skill, if you actually press L, that's the skill. It has a cooldown of, I believe, 8 seconds. You can always take a look at that by pressing the minus and going into your um, skills over here. It's called Rapid Thrust. Uh, this one says strike at your enemies with four frontal thrusts, deal 350% of attack power, um, and then damage type is melee, mana usage three blocks, and then cast time is instant, cool time, or cool down whatever is eight seconds, so, yeah. Alright, let's go. All of this will be making more sense as we progress through the game a little bit more, just so you get more familiar with, you know, what the game is all about, different features, and all that good stuff, so. Back in Paw Village. What's wrong, Tim? Did something happen? Monsters. Chased. What? Good morning, everyone. Something happened? You don't look so good. Ah, young soldiers. Good morning. I hope you are well rested. Our provision here seems quite trouble with something. Take a deep breath, Tim, then tell us what happened. I... I was on the way back from picking up some goods for the shop when I reached... By River Field, I was surprised by a group of orcs as if they were waiting for me. I was so scared, Chief. I dashed away as quickly as I could before they could get me. But I left my bag behind. It has the things you, Miss Apple, and Sage Albi requested. What am I supposed to do? It's okay, Tim. At least you were not hurt. That is the most important thing right now. Young soldiers, I'm sorry for this sudden request. Would you be willing to help Timmy locate his things? As I mentioned, none of those here can fight, so you are our only hope. Soldiers, you can fight? Please, friends, help me... Please let me get my bag back. Alright, Chief, we'll help Timmy out. Besides, it's a tad strange that orcs decided to venture outside of their territory. I sure hope it was it isn't a calamity. We need to determine the cause and report to our commander. Very well, please. Always be on your guard. I've heard nasty things about these bleeding orcs. Tim, do you have any remaining supplies? Yes, I still have some croissants on me. Here, please take these. Give me them or replenish your health. Sorry for the trouble, friends, but please be careful. Thank you. Please wait for our return. 
All right, so we got five free croissants. That's not bad, I guess. So quest accepted, drop belongings. You can always press the right stick to uh, open the map and you can actually see all the different locations in the game, as you can see. Look at that, that's crazy just how much there actually is. But, um, so we've already been to Thunderbun Farm, Paw Village, Upriver Field, West Paw Field. We kind of ended up, no, no, we didn't skip Upriver Field, no. We were, that's where we did a battle, I believe. But there's all these locations, as you can see. We have to go down there. So we gotta cross the bridge down, south from West Paw Field. Okay. There's shops and stuff here, but I'm not gonna talk about them right now because they're not really all that... It's not useful to talk about them yet. Uh, these things are teleporters, we'll talk about this later. As you can see, there's just a lot of things that are available to us pretty much right away. Um, but a lot of it's kind of useless at first. You have to wait a little bit and progress the game a bit so you can actually see the purpose of these things. Here there's a treasure. Uh, some treasures in this game are actually locked and you need keys and others are just like that out in the open and you know that's pretty nice. Uh, this thing is just moving away. It is recommended to be fighting enemies, um, you know, uh, you get the freaking hell. Oh my god, I'm in an awkward angle here, I already got hit twice. Sorry, that was such an awkward angle because it was, we were behind a treasure chest and couldn't even see anything. That's how battles are supposed to go, like that. That was much, much better. These things just move around so much, man. But yeah, you basically get loot, you know? You get some, or what would I want to call loot, drops, spoils. Every game does it differently, of course, you know? Um, so we can go either to the top left or to the bottom left. Oh, we have to go to the bottom left, I believe. So I'm gonna go this way. Here's another one of these. Get one mucus there, and yeah, so that's the end of it. Keep dropping. It's just mucus. All right. So by going to this next area, this should take us back into yep, West Paw Field. From here, we need to head directly to the bottom, down south. Okay. Here we got a new enemy. This is a. Karu? Karu, okay, cool. And we got some vines from that, nice. I guess I'll fight this guy too. I should also start using my skill more, I mean, I might as well, you know? Oh god. That's actually a more terrifying enemy, I'll just tell you right now. Um, the King Slime, you're not really in a position to be able to uh, be fighting that enemy right now. It's like a, it's almost like a freaking boss or whatever. These things are a bit of a step up. They actually attack twice for three damage a piece, so they'll do, yeah, they'll do six damage in total. There you go. All right, and then over here we have this thing. If we just examine it, it's a checkpoint. Current location, you can actually put save. I'll talk more about this mechanic and stuff later because even some elements of that confuse me a bit. We got a croissant. Okay. And then, here's another one, open this thing, and this one is going to net us paw pennies, that's basically money, as you can see up in the, in the middle. I guess I can talk about that. So, now it says 520, you start with 500 money in this game. By the way, you can't go beyond red, um, lines. You can't. Yeah, so we got 20, we're at 520 now. It's the second of the month, or second day. Uh, the time is actually there. Time does pass. I mean, there's a farming game, so there is, you know, a time mechanic. Uh, we're just gonna, yeah, we'll go over here. Don't fight that giant freaking slime right now. It, it has way too much health and does way too much damage. Uh, I guess technically it's possible to kill it. It'll take you like maybe 10 minutes to kill that thing. I'm not even kidding you. Um, but it's a little ridiculous right now. We are not equipped to handle that thing. Now we are in By River Field. This is the place we wanted to go to. If we take a look at this, on the map we have now made it to By River Field. Which is great. Fantastic. Okay, let's go ahead and um, come down here. So here we're going to get into these uh, orc enemies. They have a... Seriously? Okay, just use your skill. They are... They can do a pretty decent amount of damage, you got to be very careful. Um, like right there I just took 10 damage because I got greedy and thought I could kill him before he hit me, but obviously that did not work out. Okay, let's be more careful this time. Okay, we want this guy to... Okay, 
we want them to like hit us at the same time just like that and then we can actually use our skill here it is very important yeah just keep having him do that that's fine still trying to okay get over here there we go that's exactly what you want to do shoot and there we go all right not bad not bad now we're gonna I guess we'll go down here I think I went the wrong way here's the sign yeah see it's another red line you can't cross red lines but I'm also looking to see if there's any treasures but I'm not seeing any let me check this side yep here's a treasure this one contains uh, 20 more pop pennies okay and some more money this over here, I don't think we can actually enter this. No, I wasn't able to do it when I was actually practicing and playing through this game. I'm not really sure why. But that's basically a dead end. I don't think there's anything behind this. I can't even see. No, it's just another tree, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Okay. So that takes care of that. The only other way to go is going to be to the left over here. We're going to open this, and this is uh, two apples, and here's the actual bag itself. Uh, we cannot keep going. Wait, if I pick it up, does it warp me back? I actually don't know. No, it doesn't. Okay. Drop belongings. Quest updated. All right, so we got the bag. Now we have to just go all the way back. We're going to run back. One area at a time. Yeah, um, by the way, one thing that I don't know, like, at all, is the length of this game. I have no idea if this game is actually a bit on the shorter end or the longer end. No idea, because I've only played, again, 30 minutes of the game, and I, I'm already pretty much catching up to the point where I was when I first played. Personally, I enjoy kind of like a blind run for, like, you know, my, you know, authentic reactions and stuff like that. But, that also means that I don't really know how long the game actually is going to be. I mean, because I, I know sometimes some of you ask me questions like, you, usually in the first couple episodes of, of, a, of a series that I do, a lot of you end up asking me, like, oh, like, hey, how long is this game, you know, because some of you want to actually see if it's worth it, you know, like if it's worth the amount of money, like, for the length. I was actually talking about this on my recent Paw Patrol playthrough that I started a couple days ago, um, about how those games are priced at like 40 to $50 and the games can be 100% within three hours like that is not a good price you know it's really not so these teleporters will actually let you go back to your checkpoint uh, you know that you uh, went ahead and saved uh, but we're just gonna we're gonna get out of here and I don't think he's gonna be oh this is another this is a chat it just has chest on here so basically, all these people here, where there's like close signs, that would actually be here, and you're able to actually, um, you know, hand in the requester. But unfortunately, we, or it's too late at night. He's not there. This is a locked chest. Like I was saying, some chests in this game are actually locked, and you need a specific key. So because we can't really do anything else, uh, I think all we're gonna have to do is just. Uh, yeah, we're just going to sleep. I was just exploring a little bit here, but it is nighttime, so it's not, like, really easy to see. It's better to do it in the day. Okay, well, I'll go like this, this way. Because this actually leads me back to the farm. The left side leads to the place where there's enemies over there, and the bottom leads to Thunderbun Farm. Okay. Gonna go here, go to sleep, and when you sleep, just like pretty much any. Oh my god, that troll is so cute and funny every time. But uh, like I was saying before, or like what I was about to say, I should say. Um, if you sleep, what's nice about sleeping? I mean, aside from making it like the next day, why is it taking so long to load? Jeez. Um, aside from it being the next day, you also get a full heal. So as you can see, I'm back to 40 out of 40 HP. 
which is very nice, of course. Alright, so... Now that we've, you know, got that item, we can actually talk to Timmy now that it's during the day. He should be back over here. Did I say Timmy? I think it's Tim. Oh my god. Timmy. And by the way, I, I think spamming roll makes you go like a tiny bit faster, but it, I mean, there is a stamina, you know, mechanic in this game, so you can't just spam it infinitely like 3D Zelda games or something like that, you know? Oh, my bag. Thank you so much. You're my savior. We got 100 money. If you're curious about the orc's behavior, I'm sorry, friends. I don't know much about it either. It surprised me too. But maybe, just maybe, Sage Albi might know something about this. Oh, wait, no, it is Timmy. Sorry, I thought it was Tim. No, it's Timmy. Oh, right, you never met him before, have you? He's the village wise man, the most knowledgeable person I've ever met. I heard he used to be a professor at the Royal Academy. Even though I studied there, he never taught any of my classes, and none of the other professors ever seemed to talk about him. Do you want to meet him? I'm certain he can give you some information about what's happening. He lives on the outskirts of the village, the forest entrance to be exact. While you're at it, perhaps you could bring him this package. It's some stuff you requested from me. Don't lose it, alright? Now, I need to get organized and go to look for some packages myself. If you're ever in need of supplies, don't hesitate to come to my shop. See you again, friends. Yeah, sure. So yeah, this is what I was saying, that there's actually shops. If you go up to them, you know, you can buy like ingredients and stuff, which is nice. Um, money, money, and for some of these, like, you know, you actually have to also have other requirements. Like here you need two wheat, you know, here you need two uh, sweet corn and so on and so forth. So that's one of the shops, and then there's spheres here. But you can't go, you can't buy some of these until you actually complete the quest that it's telling you to complete. This one over here is, you know, like her favorite dessert, treat for kids, and so on and so forth. So yeah. Not too much you can do right now, because a lot of these things are actually locked. Uh, down this way, we have the blacksmith. So like, here we have we have the beginner sword, that's the one we currently have, but if we want to get some better ones, you know, we would need different things like orc tokens, iron stone, uh, lots of money as well, which is crazy. Just how much we actually need. Yeah, but again, I'm not really going to be able to do all that right now. We just have to keep uh, progressing forward. Gotta keep moving. So we have to go to the next location, which is in the outskirts of town, like what Timmy was telling us. It's honestly not too hard to find that location. Basically, if you come over here directly left, remember how there was a pathway on the upper left and one on the bottom left? We took the bottom left to eventually get to the Bay River area, but if we take the upper left area, that will actually take us to where we want to go. That's right, give me that mucus. I'll just fight a couple. You don't need to be fighting like literally all of them. But yeah, one thing you should be doing is uh, using the lock mechanic. Um, it does help actually. Anything? Any? Yeah, there we go. It does help so you can actually, you know, see where the enemy is, connect with their hits a little bit better. All you have to do is press X. You don't have to hold it. Just press it and it's that simple. So now we're in the forest entrance. Um, oh, it's going to attack me. That one looks like, wait, what the hell? Why is that one... Why did it look shinier? Didn't that look shinier? No, I'm, I'm just going crazy, never mind. Like the item drop, I mean. Okay, and again, you should fight some of these too to get some vines. You'll probably need these items for enough crafting and stuff later, so you want to diversify your items that you got here. Like, not just get like 5 million mucus, you know? There is actually a treasure over here. That's a red line. We can't cross that way to the left, but we can't. Oh, shoot. Coal. We got one coal. I guess I should have used my skill there. Damn it, I took a hit. Okay, I guess that's actually it for here. Let's just go in here. Excuse me, this is Albie's Cottage. Who are you? Uh, sorry to bother you. We're here to deliver you a package. I don't know you. Go away. But you know the village provisioner. He asked us to bring this package to you. We're telling you the truth. Give me the package and leave. 
Are you always this grisly sage? We were told that you would know more about why monsters are becoming more aggressive. I'm sorry if it's rude to bring up when we just met, but you're supposed to have work at the Royal Academy. Timmy said so. You of all people must be very curious about it. We're trying to get as much information as we can to figure out how to deal with it. That's at least what scholars in the city would do. Uh, sorry, we haven't properly introduced ourselves, and here I am questioning you. We're soldiers from the capital city assigned to protect Paw Village from monsters. I don't trust anyone claiming to be from the capital city. Leave immediately. But why? What happened? As far as I'm aware, the Empire rules well both the city and the wider territory. Well, sometimes their commanders can be a bit harsh, I won't lie about that. But what they're doing is for the people's sake. You are but mere cubs. You cannot understand. The only thing that matters to the Empire is power and how to conquer the world with it. You are their subjects. You say you're here to help us for now, but in the future, who knows? Perhaps they will tell you to arrest someone who defies them. What? Look, Sage, I don't know what happened between you and the Empire, but I assure you that our purpose is to protect the people. We promise to maintain peace. If you find out what if you find out that we're lying to you, you can drive us out of here by force. Seriously? It's the only way, Nyan, otherwise he'll never trust us. Why? Why have they sent you here? We don't need any help. We can bear the responsibility of defending the village ourselves. Oh, no, you can't. It was Chief Oliver who sent a request to the Royal Guard in the first place. He is worried that people won't be able to live normally if the situation continues. Why were we assigned to this place? Because I lost a bet. Whoa, what? With Commander Blue. You what? <laughs> I'm joking. Commander Blue thought it might be easier to adapt to the area if we were assigned a place that her family was from. How I wish Uncle Payne was with us right now so I wouldn't have to deal with this pesky sage. Did you say Payne? You knew Payne Thunderbun? Oh gosh, why didn't I thought of that earlier? Yes, we knew him. You didn't know he had a grandchild? Now you'll believe us? Grandchild. You're his grandchild? Me? Do I look like Uncle Payne? Was he round and pink as I am? It's my hands, of course, though you might notice they're from different species. I assure you they're the same family. Very well. If you are indeed his grandchild, you should have some idea about what happened between the scholars and the Empire. What? We never heard anything about it. Our commander certainly hasn't told us anything. Do you know anything about it, Nyan? Nothing. So, they haven't told you. Very well, take this. If you really are Payne's grandchild, you'll know what this is and how to use it. Come back to me once you've figured it out. Now, be gone. Well then. There was a chest over there, but I don't think I can actually do anything in there. Uh, can I even go back in there? Oh, that, that annoying, arrogant sage. Why would he be so rude? This doesn't look like an ordinary book. Any idea what it is? Should we ask Timmy? He may know something. Maybe. Let's, let's try to go back in here and see. Or is he going to kick us out immediately? He actually may. Oh no, no. He actually didn't. Yeah, so this thing over here. It's another locked one. Unfortunately, but that's basically all out there is here in the house. I just wanted to kind of show you. In case you were wondering, let's get out of here. So, now we have to go back to Timmy to see if maybe he knows something about this book that we just got. This item. Luckily, it's not too far. So I can just run all the way directly back. And there's not much else we can do since we couldn't progress much to the left. In terms of exploring, the world gradually opens up for you. And you can start going to this location and that location and so on and so forth. I guess I'll fight these these guys here. Oh shoot! Damn it! I still took a hit there. Give me that mucus. All right. I guess all I'm gonna do for this video is just talk to Timmy, and then call it a video. This is basically around the time where I, I mean, it was actually a little before, where I stopped um playing in my practice run, so by this point it is going to be blind, but I mean, it doesn't seem challenging at all, right? We should be able to figure things out as we go. Alright, so he is right over here. Oh, hello my friends, looking for something? Huh? You're not here to shop, and how can I help you? Assessing a mysterious item, you say? Hmm, let me see. Is this really yours? Where did you get it? 
You don't know what it is, huh? I thought someone from the city would be better informed. This, my friends, is a spell book. Items like this are forbidden, you know. You must have heard of magic wielders, surely? They're no mere rumor, I tell you. If they were, why would the Empire make some ridiculous law forbidding magic use? Simply owning a spellbook is breaking the law. You could get accused of attempting treason. Don't worry, I'm not going to report you or anything. Besides, you are more likely to report it to your superiors. But I beg you, please don't do that. I knew someone who could perform magic and he wasn't evil at all. He kept the village safe from monsters after the city decided to abandon Ribero Fortress. That's why I know that magic isn't something to be feared. It's not like you... It's not like what you hear in the city. Uh, I don't know if I should tell you much more about it. I suggest you go home and read the book. See if it changes your mind. At least then, if you decide to arrest the owner of the spellbook, you know precisely what it contains. Not just because you're following some stupid law. <laughs> what, we're gonna arrest Sage Albi? <laughs> what the heck? That's another shop, by the way. You can actually get ingredients and stuff here. Or sorry, no, that's for seeds. Sorry, the ingredients are still over there. Those are seeds. My bad. But we're still not doing much there yet because we're still all on the end. Wait, why am I going that way? Shoot, sorry, it's down. I thought it was to the right for whatever reason. It's down. But yeah, that's actually about uh, going to wrap up the first video. That's enough content for sure for one whole video. I'm going to keep these videos usually around 35 minutes or so for all of you in case you are wondering. My plan is to upload twice uh, daily, every 12 hours apart because I know a lot of you want to see more of this content, more of this game before it actually officially releases. So before I end this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoyed the video. I will see you all next time. Bye-bye everyone, have a great day.